Good morning everyone. So we've been at Ronley, Ronsley Park Station for the past four nights and tonight is our last night here unfortunately. But we are making the most of our last day here and we're going to go check out their full wheel drive track. Well, they have two tracks that are on their property. Um, they have an all wheel drive track and then they have a four wheel drive track. I'm pretty sure the four wheel drive track contains quite a steep descent and ascent. So you definitely got to have low range for this one. Um, they won't let you go on the track unless you do. There's a few things that you have to do um, to get it. Firstly, you have to go in, pay a small deposit, get yourself a little key, and then you've got to sign your life away. Did all of that yesterday, got our keys, and we're ready to have the tracks. So apparently the first, it starts off with the all-wheel drive track, which is about three to three and a half hours. And then we'll cruise on to the next gate, which is the four-wheel drive track. And apparently it's only supposed to take an hour. So got about half the day. Um, so Ronsley Park do offer quite a number of uh, guided and self-guided walking and four-wheel drive tours. Yep. Um, so they've got abundance of different uh, options that you can choose from. We've decided to choose this one, uh, one of the cheaper ones, and yeah, we like to do things by ourselves. Yeah. So let's go. Chaos is allowed on this drive. Um, they do allow dogs on their whole property, but we are going to keep them in the car because we've just seen on the gate back there as we come in that it actually says um, that poisons have been laid, so keep your dog on the leash and muzzled at all times. I think we'll just keep him in the car and let him out for a drink and he'll come back in. He's pretty well enjoying a bit of cool breeze because it's been super hot for the last few days and Carly's even been overheating. Mm. struggling with the heat a little bit. Um, yesterday I was so unwell. We didn't actually spend much time in the sun at all. We went for a swim and we were honestly only out there for like 15 minutes. She got sunburnt in that time though. Yeah, sunburnt in 15 minutes and I was lathered up in sunscreen. But yeah, I just really wasn't very well yesterday. But anyway, who would have thought it was going to be the Aussie that struggled? I really thought it was going to be Regan, but no, it's me. <laughs> We're just coming to the little bits in this track where it's in and out of these creeks where it's starting to get just a little bit rutty. You can tell um, this kind of dirt, as soon as it gets any water on it, it um, turns straight to clay and it just makes a hell of a mess. But the track itself is actually really good. It's a pretty good track to drive, eh? It's a very well maintained track. Uh, so they do actually close it as soon as there is any rain um, just to preserve it and make sure that everyone gets to enjoy it and you don't get idiots coming through ripping it all up when it's wet. Yeah. So they don't have to spend fortune on uh, constantly maintaining it I suppose. From here you can get a really good view of the Alder range and the Chase range. They are stunning. Super cool ranges out here. So we're right where we are, we are in the central Flinders Ranges area, region, I suppose. And um, yeah, very nice. It's too bad that um, we won't be exploring more of the Flinders Ranges. We kind of 
um, I get in as far north as here and then we're heading back to the coast for New Year's so that's going to be really cool. Well it is super windy up here but we just whipped up a quick lunch. We uh, boiled some macaroni in the jet boil, added some pesto paste, I added a couple of pine nuts, some feta cheese and that'll fuel us for the next half of the day. We're uh, running very low on groceries so nice and simple. very different kind of drive compared to the other one. Um, this one's a lot more hilly and you're just sort of weaving your way in amongst all the trees trying not to catch a branch against your paint or against the canopy. You know that's still new so still trying to look after that. <laughs> but it's very still a nice drive. Can't wait until we get up in the mountains or up in the hills and start getting some of those views. While we were up on the lookout having lunch, um, we're pretty sure that we got a glimpse of where the track actually goes. You can kind of make it out from the lookout and um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty steep. But it's going to be a good bit of fun. I really hope everyone appreciates the effort I put into getting these shots. So please give us a thumbs up. I'm about to walk up this massive hill after getting film, after filming Regan going up there. Yeah, so <sighs> we've just come up to, literally gone through the gate, gone through a couple of corners, and then there's a fairly decent steep bit of hill there, so. so I'm about to um, jump up there and away we go. So I'm just gonna go first gear low and just crawl on up there. gonna park here. Wow. Wow. This is stunning. Like this is pretty spectacular. It's just breathtaking. Oh this four-wheel drive track has actually turned out to be quite a fun track to drive. It's got a lot of ups and downs, um, a lot of windies, a lot of bits where you like come over the brow of the hill and you don't even know where the track has gone, whether it's like hooked right or going down on an angle. It's um, yeah, it's a good fun track. And uh, it's super steep, like you think that you're done with all the steep stuff because you've gone up, seen the lookout, and um, come back down the other side, but then it just keeps going. Overall, uh, that was a very good track. It was a nice drive, very scenic, had a bit of everything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna 
get out to the to the gravel road again and we're going to find our next spot that we're going to go to there's a couple of other lookouts around the area so we'll go for a bit of a drive and have a look see around that'll pretty much finish our day ticket touring around um, then we'll head back to camp get set up again uh, go have showers get freshened up and then go out for dinner just quickly stopped at the showers and had a shower save us walking back down from camp and uh, you might notice that I'm basically in my pajamas that's because we made a rookie error and we're not more prepared so when we first got here we asked about the wall shed and the guy at the reception said you don't need to make a booking we assumed that was for the whole time um, but obviously it was just for that night we just went in there to double check that it was open today because I tried to call them today to make sure that you know there's somewhere we can sit with chaos and they're fully booked. <laughs> we only just found out when we got to the reception um, to hand in the keys. So that sucks, we can't go out for dinner. I seen that they had creme brulee on the menu and I was just, I've been hanging out for it, but no. So we're very limited on groceries and I'm not really sure what we have but it is lucky that I got some mints out for tomorrow night this morning. So we do have something, some meat to eat. But anyway, we'll whip up something. Regan's just gone to get a couple of drinks and we'll go set up camp again. So I'm really surprised that it is booked out but oh well. That's what happens. Still been a great day otherwise. And I'm sure we'll find somewhere else to go out for dinner. Went in and brought some beers. Well, that six pack of CCs. I think these were like 35 bucks or something. 40 bucks for a six pack. I wasn't impressed, but at the same time, I had no beers and I was a little bit devastated that we can't go out for dinner. Because I know how limited stuff that we had. So I was like, damn it. But, oh well. Shit happens. It's all good. Yeah. Yep. So we'll just have a couple of these each. I'll probably have four. She'll have two and some vodka if she wants it. But Oh, well, maybe not. Well, stop rambling. Anyway, we're going to cook up something quick and easy for dinner and uh, get to bed nice and early. I'm pooped. And yeah, hit the road nice and early tomorrow and make our way down to Port Lincoln for New Year's. Yep. Yeah. And that'll probably be the end of this episode. So, yeah. if you did like the um, if you did like this episode, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe um, if you want to keep up to date with all of our um, current travels. So, yeah. so a wrap up of today. I think the drive was it was worth it. A little bit pricey, but I think it was well worth it. It was a full day out. Mm. Um, yeah the scenic drive <laughs> do your research first and realize that it's 28 k's one way and then you've either either got to do an 80 k trip mm -hmm. back around or drive back down the same road so yeah wasn't too bad yeah i wouldn't rate that drive as being like a must do nah. it's like if you got some spare time and don't mind burning gas then go, go for, for it, it. <laughs> yeah go for it if you're bored but don't probably don't go out of your way to Mm. to go and do it unless you want to go and do the hike that's at the blacks gap lookout yeah i think that one might be worth it um yeah. but yeah like we said we were trying to get back for dinner but now we don't have no dinner <gasps> i'm so sad <laughs> i just really wanted some lamb and creme brulee anyway now we're gonna have chicken vegetables and... <laughs> Now we've got some vegetables we need to use up in the fridge, so we'll use that and chuck some chicken mince on top and make something out of it. Mm. Do that. Yeah, but on that note, that's a wrap up of our Rawnsley Park and Christmas holiday. And yep. uh, tomorrow Ooh. we will be chilling on the beach. Not on the beach. Well, but... we'll be close to the beach. Yeah. I'll um, probably be doing the same action. Yeah. <laughs>
just by the beach. Cheers. Ahem. <clears throat> what a fucking rookie. So. Cheers. Cheers. They are so refreshing. And on that note, we'll see you guys next week. Yep. Bye. Nine and we should be back by five. And there's a car coming, so let's get into the track. <laughs>